Hello, you know me, I love to put a movement snack into the day. So if you've been sitting working, you can jump up in whatever you're wearing and get moving to feel better. So let's start with the shoulders, nice big circles. Changing direction. And then floating the arms up to about shoulder height. I'm gonna take both palms up towards the ceiling and then rolling the arms all the way forwards. So going as far as you can in each direction. And then if you keep your left palm up, turn the other hand down, I'm gonna swap the arms so they're doing opposite things. And then whichever palm is facing up, we're gonna reach in that direction and then swap the arms over, reach in the other direction. And you can always take the feet a little bit wider if that makes you feel more stable. But the aim is to take the shoulders away from the hips, a little bit of a rib slide, change the arms each time. And then this time, let's relax one hand down, other arm coming overhead. So into a little side stretch. We're not gonna stay there too long. Let's swap over, bring the arm over the head, slide it down. And then bring both hands down. Let's do a bit more of a side stretch. So we're gonna slide the hands down the outside of the thighs. See how far you can comfortably go without collapsing forwards. So imagine you're sandwiched between two sheets of glass. And then let's interlace the fingers, turning the palms away, taking the hands up towards the ceiling, squeeze the elbows in. Again, a side stretch. Should be a little bit stronger. But we've got the arms up. Let's do it one more time to each side. You're not going to have been doing this movement. <laughs> and then separating the hands, take the palms to the lower back. Squeeze the elbows back behind you. We're going to look up, lifting the chest. So you want to feel as if you're lifting the rib cage up away from the pelvis. Taking a big breath in and a relaxed breath out. Stay there if you can, maybe easing the hips a little forwards, but see how it feels in your lower back. Big breath in, relax breath out. And then releasing the arms. Let's take your right foot forwards and your left foot back. So I've got a you know, big step in between. I'm gonna bend my front knee, bring the hands together. So reaching up, circling the arms wide, coming back in front of the heart space. So breathing in, maybe hands come slightly back, big circle out behind. Let's do that one more time. Lovely, and then both arms coming up, maybe slightly back. So keep the front knee bent, back leg straight, heel on the ground, and then relaxing the arms down. So I'm gonna take my right hand up again, turning the palm to face the wall behind. Left hand onto the back leg, and I'm gonna look up, lifting the chest, so you get a feeling of lengthening through the front of the body. If your back feels okay, sliding down the back leg into a humble warrior. And then take that top arm down, let's swap the legs over, so you're gonna have a big step between the legs, a bend in the front knee, back heel on the ground, hands coming together. So we're gonna to reach up, looking up, swimming the arms out wide. Let's do that again. Bigger circle as you can make. Lifting the rib cage. Lovely. Let's take both arms up. So this is like a, a little warrior one pose for your other dress. And I'm gonna work the hands back. Keep the bend in the front knee. One more big breath in. And then relax the arms down for a moment. We're gonna take the left arm up, palm turning to the wall behind, right hand to the back leg, and just start by looking up, lifting the chest. So we've already created a little back bend. That might be enough. Or slide that back hand down the leg, come a little bit deeper into the humble warrior pose. And then taking the top arm down to come out of it. Bring the feet back together and going to take the feet at a 45 degree angle, hands onto the hips, let's sit back into a squat and then come in. So breathing out, then breathing in to come up. Let's bring the arms up, 
and then all the way around as we come up. So we're particularly working into the shoulders for this short 10 minute sequence because they tend to collapse forwards if you've been sitting at a desk or looking at a screen in front of you. So really sit back. Let's do three more of these. Bottom back. Lifting the energy as you lift your fingertips. Keep it going. Brilliant. And then feet close enough that you can easily turn from side to side. So we're going to let the arms swing. Just having the arms relax, tapping behind you. And as I turn one way, my opposite foot is lifting. So the heel is lifting to make it easier to twist. If it's comfortable, look back behind you. I'm going to bring the hands a little bit higher up to the level of the belly button. Looking back behind if you can, get the twist into the neck. Coming up to heart level. So getting some movement into the back muscles. Let's come up to the level of the throat. Find a nice rhythm that suits you up to eyebrow level. And then reaching up towards the ceiling, keep it nice and loose and relaxed. And we're going to come down a little bit more quickly, so to the level of the eyebrows and the throat and the chest and the navel. And again, let the arms just completely relax, tapping behind you. So hopefully that's woken you up a little bit. <laughs> now, I want you to find um, something you can lean against. So it might be windowsill, it might be a desk, it might be a chest of drawers, a kitchen counter, whatever you've got to hand. I'm going to rest either the hands or the whole of the forearm on that surface and walk the feet back so you come into a supported forward bend. So you've got your hands or your forearms resting onto something and then let your bottom sink out behind. You've got your hips over your ankles and then you're going to move a little from side to side. So hips going left and right. So you can imagine it straight left and right or like a semicircle to get a bit more movement into the lower back. Try and let your head relax. So keep your hands resting on something, your forearms resting on something. Letting the head go, you could give it a little shake, yes and no. You might need to keep some bend in the knees if you've been sitting a while and your back's feeling a little bit sore. Taking the hips side to side a couple more times. Brilliant. And then coming up away from that surface. And we're going to try and do a balance. And the reason for that is it's very good at bringing you into the moment, helping you to center inside yourself and feel focused. So if you bring your weight into your right foot, I'm going to see if I can take hold of the left ankle. And then we're going to draw the knees together. You can bring the other arm out for balance. Finding something to focus on. So you might be looking at the screen or you can just move your eyes off to the side of it. So staying nice and upright, let's draw the left knee back so we feel more of a stretch in the front of the thigh. Keep breathing in and out, try not to hold the breath. Smile. <laughs> Don't concentrate so much that you're frowning. <laughs> and if you want to, we can take the right arm up. So we're really reaching up towards the ceiling and then hinging forward. So this is called the dancer's pose, Natrajasana. I'm pushing in the back hand in, or the back foot into the hand to open up the space behind the bottom. Eyes focused to help with the balance. Taking one more breath here if you can. And then make your way to upright. Let the foot come down, shifting the weight across. We're gonna do the balance on the other side. So taking hold of the other ankle. Just take a moment to choose where you're gonna focus your eyes, find your balance. And try and let your foot spread out that you're standing on. So knees together and then drawing the right knee back so you get that stretch in the front of the thigh. Keep the breath flowing in and out. Let's take the spare arm up. So we're going to see if we can hinge forwards. You can always do it towards a wall and bring the hand onto the wall if you're wobbly. But otherwise we're trying to push the right foot back into the hand behind you, opening up the space behind the bottom. Keep the breath flowing in and out. 
and then preparing to come upright and relax the arm back down. Let's have the hands onto the hips, taking the feet wider. So a little circle. So again, if you've been sitting for a while, getting the circulation going around the back into the hips, changing direction. And then we're gonna imagine we've got a giant beach ball. Let's reach up, have a bend in the knees. I'm gonna take it round in a big circle to really work into all of the back muscles. Keep the hands wide in the shoulders. You can bring your bottom out behind as you lean forwards, really lift up towards the ceiling as you come up. Let's change direction. A massive beach ball. Thinking of the beach, thinking of holidays, lifting your spirits. One more time. You're gonna finish when you come up and then bring the hands together. Give yourself a little bow for having a movement snack and feeling better. Thank you for joining me.